Welcome to Glasgow, Leo. Lots of famous people come to Glasgow. Movie star and activist Leonardo DiCaprio caused a big sensation. But while celebrities get the attention, it was the leaders making the deals. Together, we're committing to collectively reduce our methane by 30% by 2030. Methane, often generated by landfills, is one of the most worrisome greenhouse gases. 100 countries have signed up, including big emitter Brazil, but not China and not Russia. However, Vladimir Putin, who's not at COP26, said in a video statement that he is supporting a landmark agreement to end deforestation. Billionaire Jeff Bezos is contributing $2 billion to that cause. The private sector must also play its part to reduce carbon emissions. The money, $19 billion in total, will help protect and restore forests from the Amazon to Africa. Companies will essentially pay nations not to cut down their trees as a way to offset their own carbon emissions. So what we're trying to do is change that economic incentive on the ground to make forests work more alive than dead. Nancy Tembo is the forestry minister of Malawi in Central Africa. In my country, Malawi, we have programs to restore all our forests, to regenerate all our forests, and we're trying our best, but we need a support. But outside the venue, protesters pushed back on the idea of private business riding to the rescue. Banks like JP Morgan are planning another five trillion of investment in new fossil fuels over the next 10 years. The summit has devoted Wednesday to financing, trying to push the global investment community to change the way it invests to reflect new climate priorities. Former Canadian central banker Mark Carney is the headliner. Chris Brown, CBC News, Glasgow.